Hi everybody, this is Theoral. You can find me on the Marvel Champions Discord answering rules questions or uh, doing the Card Text podcast with Bob and Scott or here on YouTube doing various Marvel Champions playthrough videos where I play various heroes against those various scenarios. Um, there's a progression series that at some point shifts into a go back and play he scenarios with heroes that I hadn't gotten to yet in my playthrough then swaps over to playing some heroes from earlier on in the series with the full card pool and uh, I don't know, it's in the process of pretty much shifting to play random heroes or heroes that I feel like playing that I enjoy against scenarios that I enjoy. Um, it's been a little while since I played Mutagen Formula, which is uh, I think my favorite scenario of the game, and I haven't played Quicksilver, who's up there as one of my favorite heroes um, since that King scenario, so um, I thought I'd do a Quicksilver Aggression deck today and see how that goes. Um, so here we have a Quicksilver Aggression deck that I kind of threw together from the current card pool. I wanted to try out Fluid Motion with him. I know it's not the best card with him because he doesn't have any built-in attack events, so he's only got what I'm running. And I don't run that much, but we'll see. Maybe it'll work out all right. He's got six events. Each time he plays, he gets plus one attack. Um, my concern is that press the advantage is often just going to be two for two. Uh, one by one is often also just going to be two for two because I have to defeat an enemy to get extra out of it, and it'll be kind of tough to sync that all up with fluid motion and everything. So I don't know. We'll see how that all works out. Um, we have Def Focus because he loves. He has a bunch of superpowers. Endurance because he needs the hit points and Symbiote Suit because he needs the hit points and also um, it's amazing with Quicksilver to have plus one on all your stats. So, you know, all together here we can get him up to a base attack of one, two, three, four, five. Uh, even before we play a the card that I can't think of the name of the um, you know maximum velocity. Uh, at which point he'll be at seven. So we're not running any of the um, his basic card, the basic card that gives you plus stats when you discard it. Try him without that. Um, kind of using fluid motion instead, but maybe it'll be a bit more consistent. Um, we've got Jarm Jarmbjorn, uh, which is always good with his friction resistance, assuming we get it out. And we've got a cadre of allies uh, to hit him up to five allies. So a few resource cards and that's it. We'll see how this all works out. We are playing Mutagen Formula. So we've got Green Goblin here and he has released Toxic Mutagen Gas on New York City, which gives us two encounter cards and a Goblin Thrall. Hopefully we can kill him. Oh wow, well, I just told it to draw 67 cards. That was a little bit much. But I guess friction resistance was on the bottom, so hopefully it's not anymore. All right, what do we got? We got a Several Industries, which is great. And Scarlet Witch, which is also great. Man, um, this is a lot of good stuff and we can't use it all, so we're not going to. Honestly, Valkyrie for three is pretty strong here because it kills this Goblin Thrall. But Serval Industries. Oh, we can shuffle quick Scarlet Witch back. On the other hand, I could just play Scarlet Witch, which also kills the Goblin Thrall, I guess. I could play Scarlet Witch, and then I could discard two to draw three. The problem with that is then I don't get to play endurance. So my trouble that I'm having here is that what I would really like to do most is play an ally. Any of these three allies is fine. Several industries and endurance. My problem is I don't quite have enough to do all three of those things. Since I can't do all three of those things, maybe, oh wait, no, I can discard these two. There we go. Oh no, I have to pay for her first. Darn it. Why is she so expensive? 
I think it's probably still worth it. I think we're going to go with Scarlet Witch. And we're just going to chuck Endurance to draw three cards. Well, that's pretty strong. I guess I could have not gotten several industries. Because I currently have no Quicksilver cards in here. But I have Hyper Perception, which is great. So now we're going to flip to Hero Form. And Scarlet Witch is going to attack the Goblin Thrall for one plus however many boost icons. Use her basic power. She gets boost icons equal to the discarded card's boosts. So that's two damage to this Goblin Thrall. Quicksilver will attack it dealing one last damage and I will use his super speed to ready and then he will thwart for two and we're pretty well set to go into the villain phase all right so with friction resistance and giant bjorn and again we've got a little bit of a tough turn here but we're probably just going to go alter ego Alright, Green Goblin attacks me. I'll go ahead and defend this one. He does 3 damage, which is actually 2, and I ready. Um, I included the... So I got Streets of Mayhem as a random modular set. Because all of its things have Surge, I decided to go ahead and include 2 modular sets. So he also has Zax, which you may have seen. So, um, so yeah, we don't have any settings yet, but eventually we're going to get a setting. That'll be fun. All right, it's death from above, which is the worst card ever. So he's attacking me for four plus a boost. Now, if I don't do anything about this, I could very well die. Um, but I think it's a chance you just have to take. All right, we got a throw. One, two, three, four. Forced interrupt. Uh, okay, environment condition. Forced interrupt. When the villain phase begins, deal two indirect damage to each player with an energy resource in their hand and or on a card they control. So I don't have any of those on cards I control, but I have a lot of energy resources in this deck, so I'm pretty much taking two indirect damage every turn until I deal with this. Discard a card you control with a printed energy resource or take two indirect damage to discard this card. Okay, interesting. And finally, we get another Goblin Thrall. Alright, so that's that's nice uh, in terms of not being too terrible. But I've got a bit of a rough turn here because I would like to play Friction Resistance for obvious reasons. Because um, it's a great card. I'm not going to quite be able to do everything I would like to. So I think what we're going to do I think I'm going to need to recover also, is spend three to play Friction Resistance. Use Friction Resistance to play Jarnbjorn. We're going to attack one of these Thralls with Scarlet Witch. Okay, great. Dealing one damage and two more damage. Good job, Scarlet Witch. You killed a Thrall. Then I'm going to attack a Goblin Thrall for one damage. Uh, and then as a response to that, I'm going to ready Quicksilver. As a response to readying Quicksilver, I'm going to ready Friction Resistance. As a response to attacking, I'm going to spend a Fist Resource to deal two damage to an enemy, which is that feller. I'm going to take two indirect damage to kill that. Flip to Alter Ego and recover for three. And I'll go ahead and use Serval Industries to shuffle that Speed Cyclone back into my deck. Because it's a great card. I just didn't have the resources to play. Okay. That's looking pretty good. One threat. Green Goblin Schemes. Oh, sorry. This should have three threat because I didn't thwart it. And he did deal damage to me twice. So that's already at four threat. This is probably just lost. All right, this is defeated or completed in player order. Each player not engaged with the goblin minion discards the top three cards and puts the first goblin minion discarded this way into play engaged with them. 
one, two, three. Oh well, that was nice. I am perfectly happy to not get those. However, that does start at four. All right, so we get a single card, and it surges into goblin reinforcements. Two threat, easy to deal with. Um, so this card's doing me no good, and I'm gonna say that fluid motion is not a card that I need out immediately. So I use my super powered siblings to discard those two and draw three. Um, one, two, three. I think we're gonna kill maximum velocity. I don't particularly need it. Four. For an adventurous mansion, I'm really just looking for a. <sighs> always be running. I could really use always be running, but I did not draw it. Now I don't think I can recover quite. Which stinks. So I'm gonna not recover and just really hope that things don't go too bad for me. I thwart for two, defeating that, and ready myself, which readies friction resistance. Um One, two, three. Unfortunately, just kind of an awkward position here in that I have a few too many resources for what I have and not enough for what I want. I feel like maybe Quinn Carrier? Although maybe getting out Brawn is just strong enough that beats out Queen Carrier. I get hold a couple cards here. Oh, okay, never mind. I can do this. So that's one, two, three for Queen Carrier, and then one, two for a hand cannon. And yes, I would much rather get out Brawn, but just not where I'm at. Draw five. Now I gotta always be running. Okay, that goes up by one. Green Goblin attacks me, Scarlet Witch defends. And I get a Goblin Soldier. Okay, I take a damage from this guy. Single encounter card, just don't be death from above. Each character in play gains retaliate one. Lovely. And a second soldier. All right. Well, that's fun. All right, we're gonna Avengers Mansion for a card. Oh, it's Death Focus. Well, that's worth it. Friction resistance for Death Focus. Death Focus and Queen Carrier plays maximum velocity. So one, two, three is my current attack. Not Queen Carrier. Um, let's put a relentless assault on that. Oh, this is a fist resource. Yeah, but I don't know if I have enough fist resources. I'm not quite sure. All right, I punch for three, four, five. That defeats this goblin soldier. I take a damage. I ready for free, which also readies friction resistance. And I can spend a fist resource to deal two damage to this goblin soldier. Hmm. Try 
figure out if there's a way to kill this guy without taking retaliate damage off of him. I don't think there is. I think I just have to thwart for full. And then I can spend always be running to stand back up. I'm going to speed cyclone to stun goblin. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and spend this. I'm going to stun both of them. There's a good chance I kill him before that becomes an issue. But just in case, I would like to shuffle back in Scarlet Witch and probably always be running relative to the other things I could do. Those seem like my highest priority items. All right, we're gonna ready everything and draw six. This goes up by two because there are two goblin enemies. Green goblin schemes for one, two, and he schemes for one, and I get a single encounter card. It's assault, which surges into overrun, which has one threat. Lovely. All right, Avengers Mansion wants to draw a card. That's just a general resource. That's just a general resource. Hmm. Okay, I have lots of readies, which means I can recover, which is nice because I really need to do that. Um, my question here is, do I want to... Okay, I know I want to. Can I play Scarlet Witch? Or do I need to wait? Do I need to just not play her? Um, I have a good number of resources available to play cards. But my issue is, if I spend, say, three to play Scarlet Witch and then discard two cards to draw three, right, I'm just way down on these cards that I would actually kind of like to play. At the same time, I would love to get out plus attack. Um, and I would love to have allies because allies are kind of important. So let's do that. We're going to not plan to play Bug. We're going to just play Scarlet Witch because she's good. And then we are going to discard two to draw three. And I think I'm going to discard these two. I don't think I need to always be running twice here, particularly. All right. And then we're going to use Serval Industries. We're going to shuffle back in one, always be running. And um, I think we're going to do a speed cyclone because that'll help a lot with everything else that I'm doing. All right. Now we're going to go hero mode. And death focus makes my superpower cost minus one, which is always be running. That readies me and friction resistance. Now, I currently punch for one, which is not a whole lot. I think what I want to do is spend these two to play combat training. Just going for com some permanent boosting here. And I think we'll go ahead and we're going to just now... I think Scarlet Witch is going to thwart the side scheme, which is a waste. I'm just not going to use her interrupt. She doesn't need it. I need to kill that side scheme, though. I'll discard two cards from the deck, put each goblin minion engaged with me. Okay, no goblin minions, which I felt like there was a decent chance I didn't get one. 
if I did get one, I had some stuff still to be able to deal with it. So that was why I made that choice, and it worked out. I'm going to go ahead and thwart for two, I think, because I still need to thwart. That readies me and friction resistance. Um, I can go ahead and punch this guy for one, two, three, four damage. So he is defeated. I take one. Uh, I overkilled him, so Goblin also takes one. And try to figure out Yeah, I don't think I have any extra resources to spend on Jarmir, so we're just going to always be running to stand up and ready as this. Then with double time, I can probably just deal four damage to Green Goblin in non-attack form so that I don't trigger any retaliates. And then I'll go ahead and thwart for two, because that's all I thwart for. All righty card hand. Hey look, it's my upgrades finally. Okay, one threat, Green Goblin is stunned so he does not attack me. I get a single encounter card. It's Haywire. Everything is an energy resource. Discard a card with a printed energy resource or take two indirect damage. Uh, I don't actually want to discard a card with two printed energy. But that's okay. I draw a card and get an encounter card. Two resources, I have plus one attack. I thwart for two, which readies me and readies this. Two resources, I have plus one defense. I punch him for three, and I take one. I spend a resource to play Always Be Running and stand back up, along with my friction resistance. All right. I think I won't do that again. I think instead I'm going to speed cyclone to stun him again and I'm going to discard an energy resource to kill Haywire it's actually just not that bad and then I'm going to flip to Alter Ego and recover for three the main scheme's clear I'm clear I've got two encounter cards this turn which I'd rather not have to deal with 100% oh, six cards Oh, I didn't shuffle these back in. This thing. I forgot to use several industries, which is actually important. So I think I'm going to shuffle in a single, always be running, and a speed cyclone. Just trying to keep the game under control. I'm not quite done building yet. So I would like to be better at that. All right. One threat. He does get to still scheme, though, and he schemes for four. Doing counter cards. First one is a goblin soldier, second one is a goblin thrall. Alright. No huge surprises there. <laughs> easy. Really pretty easy to deal with everything here. Um so that's great. Alright, I have the option to discard two cards to draw three. And given the cards I have around, I'm gonna discard those two to draw three a bit unnecessary perhaps, but I like doing it. And Avengers Mansion is going to draw me one. And I think I'm not quite ready for Hazard. 
Although I might be. I don't know. Get my attack up pretty high. But, well, hmm. Let's see. So I have one, two, three, four. Uh, I don't have that many readies. So I don't think I'm going to go for it. I mean, part of the thing is that I don't have to hit him that hard to make it work, but I still have to hit him a bit. I'm going to play Endurance. All right, we're going to flip Tiro for him. Serval Industries is going to shuffle back in. Always be running. And always be running. I'm not going to go for a maximum velocity quite yet. Then we're going to flip Terraform. Alright, 2 is an easy double time. For 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, I already do enough damage to kill that guy, so I just can, I'm just going to go ahead and punch him. Uh, nope, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. I'm going to spend, sorry, friction resistance to play, press the advantage to deal two damage to Goblin, take one damage myself. He was stunned, so I draw a card. It's Speed Cyclone. I really don't need a Speed Cyclone. That's a shame. Um, none of those are fists, so I can't do anything with that. Alright, now I'm going to punch this guy for three, which readies me and readies friction resistance. Actually, I punched him for four because I was able to use that. Um, and then I'll go ahead and use friction resistance to deal two damage to this guy. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack him for one, two, three, four, five, six. That overkills him by five. And I take one. Ooh. Uh, he's stunned. Mm. Still taking a still definitely a little bit dangerous. Alright. I ready. I'm sure he says. I thwart for two. Because that's all I thwart for. Scarlet Witch thwarts for one. Alright, I can't do really anything with this. Um, I'm just going to hang on to all these cards. Because they're fun cards. Give me a lot of power. Alright. One threat. Goblin is stunned. I get a single encounter card. It is monster. When revealed, you are stunned. No! Why are you going to stun me? Hmm. <laughs> well, Avengers Manson wants me to draw a card. Hey, it's always been that. Yeah, I don't have that many readies right now. So I think we're just going to have to clear my stun without a free ready. We'll use friction resistance to play always be running. Ready's both of us. We will. Uh, use something like Queen Carrier to play. Press the. Oh. Right. Okay. Uh, so I can play Speed Cyclone for one with Death Focus to stun. Now I'll play it for two. To stun both of them. Keep them from attacking me. Then we'll use friction resistance to play, press the advantage. Deal two damage there, draw a card, get plus one attack. So I now have four attack. 
I haven't yet attacked, so I could attack for four, eight, twelve. I have twelve attack. Let's try to see if decide if I want to go after this guy. <laughs> Can I do twenty? I'm pretty close to being able to just do twenty damage. Um, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Anyway, slice that. It's 15. So I'm just not there yet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend these three resources to play Valkyrie. She's an ally. She does three damage to m monster. And then she's able to just uh, go ahead and finish monster off. I can thwart still for two and ready along with friction resistance. And then I can go alter ego and recover to full health and use several industries to pull back, always be running and always be running. And I think pretty much I'm all set. I have a six card hand. One threat. Goblin schemes for two. I get a single encounter card. It's a goblin soldier. Alrighty, we have two always be runnings, which is certainly not enough. Relentless Assault is great here. Double resource is great. We're going to discard double time and brawn to draw three cards. Alright, well we got one by one and spider girl. So that's interesting. Hey, three always be runnings. There we go. That should do it. We're gonna flip to hero form. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. Scarlet Witch is going to attack this goblin soldier for one. And then he's going to retaliate against her and she's going to be discarded. Um, I guess spend two to play Spider Girl to stun and confuse this minion. Doesn't matter, I don't have the card in hand that would make that work out well. Um, anyway, you slice it. I kind of want to deal two damage to this guy, huh? Sure, we'll let Spider Girl beat him up. She does three damage and then takes two. Then we're going to play. I really don't need that ex those extra resources, do I? Okay, Spider Girl, you don't beat him up. I just don't need these resources, and I don't need the overkill. So, sorry, what did I just do? Why did I spend energy? Play Spider Girl. Okay, I'm going to spend two to play Relentless Assault. I'm going to hit him for five. One is overkill, but it doesn't matter. I don't get it because I didn't pay for it with a fist. Um, And I don't think it would have been worth it to do so. I played an attack event, I have plus one attack. My attack is one, two, three, four. I attack for four. Spider Girl is gonna punch this guy. Green Goblin is defeated. I get three encounter cards if I can't kill him. I'm pretty sure I can. He has 20 hit points. And he has retaliate one, so Spider Girl is defeated. All right, I punch him for four. One, two, three, four. And giant beer run for two more. I ready, this readies. I punch him. One, two, three, four. And giant beer run for two more. Oh, I take a damage, I take a damage. Uh, neither of those readies. Death focus to always be running, which readies that, uh, readies me and readies that. 
I punch him for one, two, three, four. And Queen Carrier. For Giant Bruin. And I take a damage. I can pay friction resistance for always be running, which readies me and readies this. I can punch him for one, two, three, four. And then friction resistance for two more. Then I can pay one by one to always be running to stand up along with friction resistance. And I can punch him for another six. And then Valkyrie can punch him for two more. So, there you go. Still got it with Quicksilver. He can burst down anybody. Um, That's what he does. Builds up and bursts. I did that in two shuffles and a few turns. So, good fun. Uh, I still like this scenario. Lots of fun. All those goblins getting to beat him up. Um, Zax is pretty easy. <laughs> Retaliate one, kind of annoying. Would have been nice to be able to get any other setting. Uh, but, like the plus one attack setting, that would have been great. I would have been able to just do some serious, serious work there. Um, but, yep. Got to my four attack level. I didn't get to the five attack level because I didn't play the symbiote suit. I had the chance. I could have played it. Uh, but I decided not to. So I wouldn't have to hazard. It would have only been one turn. But, anyways, good times. Um, fluid motion is fun. Even in a character with very few attacks, I still. I mean, I only ran, what, six attacks? It was it was fine. I was able to trigger every turn. Um, so, yep. Good stuff. If you like this video, uh, you know, like and subscribe and all those things if you haven't already. Uh, if you have already, that's cool. It's great to have you. Um, and, yeah. I I'm going to continue on with these videos. If you have any thoughts, if you have any heroes you'd really like to see me play uh, with aspects or whatever, you know, feel free to leave a comment to that effect. If you want to see me fight a particular scenario or you're like, hey, you know, would you want to try X hero against X scenario or whatever, um, you know, feel free to leave me a line with that effect. Uh, I'm not opposed to trying just for some random thing that somebody suggests. I'm... Um, I don't really have a plan here. Uh, I'm just going through and playing whatever scenarios come into my head. So, um, yep, that's it. And I'll catch you next time.